everyone. I'm back with a Happy Mail Share. This box is from Vicky. Vicky is TryHeart67 here on YouTube. And she sent me some Happy Mail. I think I know what this is for. <laughs> um, I have not peeked inside. I just cut the box open so you wouldn't see our addresses. I'm actually going to move the box over to the right because my desk is a very big mess right now. Um, I haven't cleaned it up from the last time I used it. As you can see. <laughs> I've got some paper on my desk here that I use for a card. Uh, and she has lots of tissue paper. So, I don't know what all this is, but we're going to take a look. Oh my gosh. She wrapped it all. I believe she wrapped it all. <laughs> so, yeah. I like this paper. It's all it's all like advertisement. It and it's not um it's like a waxy sort of finish so your um the newsprint doesn't stick to your hand. Um So she's got a, quite a few boxes in here. I don't know what they all are. And Oh wow. Okay. There's a big package in here. And I think it has the card on it, so let me remove this tissue, put it back in the box, so I have some space to kind of do stuff. Okay, I'm going to actually put this down and take the card so I can read it. Okay, so she had this tied to the package. And she's been making these little pocket cards. I think this is a Tim Holtz die, which I purchased. It just hasn't arrived yet. I think I purchased it. That or I have it in my cart somewhere and I can't remember where. <laughs> um, oh, cute. So it's got a little card inside with strawberry paper. Oh, and she stamped the little, um, the mouse. I I don't think I bought the actual stamp set that Joanne's had. I don't think I did. I bought the rub-ons. And it's got like this, um, these flex on it. I don't know if that's, uh, paint or watercolor or something like that. Cute. Thank you, Vicky. Um, here is the card. Here we go. So it says for Marilyn. And she's got some of the stickers on here. So fun. Let me read the card. Oh, cute. So cute. So she did use the paper from the collection from Joann's. I, I forget the name of the paper. Um, I do have it somewhere here. I haven't used it yet. And then she has a paper clip. Looks like closing it. Okay, let's see the inside. Alright, so here's the inside of the card that she's made. And she's used, I think this is Anna White's die here from Impression Obsession. This little um, luby border here. And yes, I've had a birthday. Cute, cute. She knows, of course, that I love strawberries. So this is a cute card, Vicky. Love it. I'm just going to put that there and I will hang this on my inspiration board along with the little card that you had on the front. And it was tied with these um, stickers, the chipboard stickers. I don't think I found the chipboard stickers. I have the rub-ons is what I have. Cute. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go through the packages. I'll start with the small ones first. And... She's wrapped them in twine. Okay. Let's see if I can... I was hoping I could just slide the, the knot off, but I think she's got it tied really well. And... We're going to have to cut it. Because I don't want to be standing here for like <laughs> 20 minutes trying to untie it. Because that that's literally what's going to happen. 
Okay, so let's see what this is. Ooh, I know what this is. She... <laughs> She um, has enjoyed seeing some of the uh, ink shares that uh, I got into. I think Anna, Anna kind of brought me into it. And this is a Ferris Wheel Press um, ink color. It's called Blue Barrel Tonic. And Ferris Wheel Press is like known for their sort of flashy um, boxes and bottles. Um, I don't have... I don't, I think I only have one ink of theirs and it's a sample, ink sample. Or maybe I have two. But I don't have any of their original bottles. And when I say original bottles, you'll know what I mean when I bring it out because it, it really is something very different from the bottles that I have. So I'm going to try and get that out of there if I can do that. Um, they're pretty distinct looking. So if I can get it out of the box, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. It's in it's seated in there pretty well. And Ferris Wheel Press, I believe, is from Canada. Um, this is their fairy tales line. If you look, if you read it, it says fairy tales, not as in, you know, the thing that's on the back of a squirrel <laughs> or a dog. Um, so they have this whole line of inks. This one See the bottle? It reminds me of a Chambord bottle in a way because they're always like that roundness um, to it. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare from my ring light. You can see the ring light. Um, this looks purple to me with like a copper sheen or a rose gold sheen. Um, what a curious feeling. Open the cabinet and peek into the apothecary of mystery. Here, drinks will shrink you, and brews can turn you blue. But the true magic lies in the reveries you will find bubbling within every bottle. And this is a 20 mil ink bottle. Um, and as I said, it's the Blue Barrel Tonic. And it, they tell you, um, unlike a lot of other places, they tell you what the base is. So the base is Periwinkle, the sheen. It's, it doesn't have a sheen. It has a shimmer of rose gold, and the shading is high. So, very pretty. I just like to look at the bottle. <laughs> um, now, this box has a similar shape to that one. However, it is lighter. Let's see if I can pull that out without having to cut it. Nope, it's tied. So I'm just going to do this. Thank you, Vicky. So cute. I love that bottle. See what else is in here. So I don't know if you meant if you saw my other video um, where I shared Anna's um, presents. Um, Anna and I actually share a birthday month, and so both of us had a milestone birthday this month. Ooh, okay. So she sent me some samples of ink. Let's see what we've got here. Ferris wheel press. Ruby Royal Flush, which I do not have, and Ferris Wheel Press Green with Curiosity. I don't have either of these, and she got them both at Goulet. So Goulet is one of those places, GouletPens.com is one of those places that has ink samples. And so you can try out the inks and see if you like them and want to order a full bottle, which she sent me. Okay. And then there's this where she's... I remember when she was making flowers a lot of, um, before. So she's, I, I believe she, this is one of hers probably that she made out of laces. Okay, can I do that? I know there's a way that she's knotted this where I can actually pull it off, but that's not what's happening here. Okay, that one I'm saving, so don't need to cut it. All right. Ooh, look at that gold seal. I can't believe you wrapped all of these. <laughs> Sometimes we get busy and we're not able to wrap everything, so 
I can appreciate that. All right, Let's see what this is. And there's that gold seal again. So what has she put in here? Is this one of your handmade ones? Yes, it's one of her handmade books. So if you catch Vicky's um, uh, videos, uh, you'll know that she she makes these like different things from file folders and um, all kinds of things. And Ode to an Inky Life. <laughs> So, she it looks like she's made an ink journal for me. So you've got like little um, things tucked in everywhere where she's got like this little file folder. And there's even an, another, one, another one here. Cute. And she's used my favorite color, blue. She knows that. She's got little um, ink bottles. Did you draw this? That is so cool. A little advertisement. And she's done her little, um, she made some like faux uh, antique tape before. Oh, look at this, it's cute. She's sewn that, here's another tucked in. She's got lots of little tucked pieces in here. And she just used tilde paper, yay. I'm doing this one-handed, sort of, so. Little file folder here. Again, some more tilde paper. I love it, Vicky. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. These little fountain pens are all tucked in like this um, faux thing. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. And she sewed around it. That is adorable. Adorable. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get that in there one-handed, so I won't force it. And then there's this page that has another little booklet in it that she's made. Oh my gosh. Okay. You really had some time to play. I love it when she gets, like, she gets into these sort of, um, I don't know what you want to call it. This, this, when she gets into this kind of crafty zone, I think... She really like um, goes down this road, and it's just so amazing to to look at all of the stuff that she comes up with. So thank you, Vicky, for taking the time to make me something. That is so. Oh wow, that's acetate. She sewed on there. It's like a film strip. That is so cool. And that's all tucked in here in this book. Oh yes, thank you, Vicky. I'm just, I'm definitely gonna um, display this. I need a place to put it, but <laughs> I will clean up my mess. I'm sure at some point. I've got a lot of things going on that I'm juggling right now. Easy to get overwhelmed, but not gonna let it. So, okay. So here's the last thing that she sent, um, and it is tied with this little heart clip right here and it's got a bow on it but I think I can just pull this off the end let me just do that because I don't know what this is I see strawberries but I don't know what this is maybe it's a book okay <laughs> where did you get this Oh, it's more than one book. Hold on. It's two binders together, and they're facing the opposite direction. So let me just pull them apart and see what she's done here. Because this... Oh, okay. She's got sam something sandwiched in there. So this is a binder. And maybe this is like, I don't know, from... Okay, it's from the Dollar Tree, because we did not have those. Of course, I looked for stuff, but they didn't have them. And then this little, it's, um, looks like it's chocolate, little chocolate candies. 
for different seasons. It has different seasons here. All seasons chocolate. So I'm guessing it's flavored because some of them have like a strawberry, um, coconut. Interesting. And of course it's in Japanese. Okay, let me see if this product of Japan. It's definitely chocolate, but I think it has a fruit fruit flavor to it too. Cool. Something fun to try. Put that there. And then got a piece of paper that's gonna fall down. Like I said, I haven't cleaned my desk yet. Um, there's this little pouch. I'll get into that because there's something in it. Um, and then there's these folders. Here's the binder. This is like a hardcover binder, the, this one right here. The other one is not like that. It's more of a soft cover. And then there's a file folder, which I never saw either. Okay, I did look for them, but never saw them. Oh, wow. And she's even put a, com a com composition book in it. I didn't know they had these because I definitely see didn't see these. Cute. Thank you, Vicki. I'll definitely use those for something. I'll come up with something, of course. So this little pouch is a Sanrio pouch. Um, and the character is Cinema Roll. <laughs> it's blue, so blue is my favorite color. She knows that. Cute, cute. I don't know if this is from Daiso. But um, you can get Sanrio stuff at a lot of different places now. Uh, let's see what she's put in here. Rilakkuma washi tape. And this one happens to have strawberries all over it. If I let's see if I can hold it up so you can actually see that. You can see little strawberries all over. Cute, cute. So that is Rilakkuma strawberry washi tape. And then this one is also Rilakkuma, but it's different. Um, this one's a pink pattern. It's a different pattern than the original, the other one. So. Let's see if I can show the two together. They're two different um, washies, and they both have Rilakkuma on it, as well as the strawberries. It's so cute. Okay, I've got to add these to my um, strawberry washi collection. I do have a collection of strawberry washi tapes, by the way. I don't keep them all together, but I do have quite a few now that I have to start using. You know, I was hoarding it, right? Um, anyway, thank you, Vicki, for thinking of me. Um, I appreciate it. And I hope you all are having a good week so far. I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now.